Hi everyone, my name is Rabia and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a book review. For those of you that are new here, I have been doing a 52 week book review and this is week four's book. The theme of the book was a book recommended by a friend and I was recommended Ramesh Ranganathan's As Good As It Gets. So I thought, right, I do like Ramesh and um, it's a non-fiction book, which I'm sort of in the mood for. So I decided I will read that book. And this is my book review for it. Before I get into it, just a little side note, I told my family about my uh, YouTube channel. I was going to keep it a secret from them forever because they are absolutely going to rip into me and they did. Um, my mum said, why do you always have your hair down? So that's why I have this hair up do today. Um, I'm not vibing with it, but this one's for you, mama. And my um, sister said, Rabia, you don't accessorize, wear something, wear something in your ears, wear jewelry. Um, so I couldn't find any earrings in all honesty, but I did put on these sort of two chains on. Well, there's like, there are literally two chains, but they look like four. But anyway, <laughs> um, I put some jewelry on, I put my little cuff on. So I am accessorized today. Um, and that's the reason why, because my family absolutely ripped into me. Um, and yeah, so that's just a little story time for you. Anyway, let me get into this book review. So this book is pretty much a commentary from Ramesh's point of view about life as an adult and adulthood as a whole and having a wife and children and friends. So he talks about all, the, all of these different topics and he, um, he does it in quite a relatable way. He does it in a very um, sort of personal way, but also it's in his tone of voice. So you can hear him. Well, I listen to the audiobook, so I can literally hear him. But I'm sure even when you read the book, you can you can hear his sound come through, um, which which is what you want with a with an autobiography sort of thing. All I can say, all I, the, the only way I can really describe it is is it's his experience in adulthood. And like I said, you know, he talks about love from his point of view, he talks about his wife, Lisa, and his children, and he rips into his children a little bit. <laughs> but I mean, I guess that's what just his relationship is like with them. And, you know, he talks about friendships and making friends and maintaining friendships as an adult and how much more difficult it is. Um, he talks about things like gaming with his children, uh, veganism. Um, so he talks about just, just life. It's not sort of in chronological order about his life or anything like that. He's just given his sort of two pence about all of these different topics. So um, yeah, I found that quite enjoyable. And um, overall, I, I really, really enjoyed it. So I only really know Ramesh through The Misadventures of Ramesh Ranganathan. I've not really seen him on anything else. So I didn't know much about his life. All I really knew was that he was vegan and that he you know was quite um sarcastic his his humor was quite sarcastic and pretty much that's all i knew so it was really um interesting hearing about his life how he is his vulnerabilities he goes into that quite a lot he talks about social issues and as it was released i think in, i want to say october last year or back end of last year at some point so it was quite current you know he talks about the blm movement he talks about coronavirus he talks about the world and you know lockdown and everything like that so it is uh quite current and yeah it, it was a great read what i'll do now is i will go into the pros and cons so First off, if you're a Ramesh fan, um, 100% recommend this book. You know, he's very honest. He's quite himself in this book. He's um, his sarcastic self and he, you know, you know, takes the piss out of everything. And it's very sort of British humour. So if you enjoy that sort of thing, just go give it a read. Definitely. That was a pro for me, especially if you listen to the audiobook. It's actually in his voice. So it, it sounds more like a podcast than a book. So it's quite easy and flowy that way. The second pro for me was the tone of it. It was really relaxed. Like I said, it was quite relatable. Um, he sounds like an everyday man. He doesn't sound like a comedian who's doing really, really well. He was formerly a teacher. So he talks about his experience as a teacher a little bit. And, you know, we've all been to school. So what is more relatable than teachers? I think the tone of it was was really like, 
homely, really friendly and just overall enjoyable. Um, and then the last point is in the book, he covers a lot. So usually when I read, you know, these sort of autobiographies, the author goes into one or two aspects of their life and they really hone in on them and tell us stories about that part of their life, etc. Whereas with this book, I felt he just talks about anything and everything. Like I said, he talks about his kids and going on holiday with his children, what a nuisance it is and how he's like tight and all the other parents are like all looking at him and that sort of thing. So he covers a lot. He really does. So, you know, if you want something that's not just specific about one little thing and you want to read something that, that has more, then I would definitely recommend this. And uh, now I will move on to the cons. So this was quite hard for me to pinpoint exactly what I thought the con was because I, I did really enjoy this book and I couldn't really figure out what was my niggle with, the, with this book. I think my niggle though was that sometimes he'd talk about you know controversial things and he would talk about you know things in his life or sometimes he wouldn't agree with his friends etc and he'd sort of say these things in the, in the book and then he'd be quite diplomatic about them afterwards so as a reader you know and as someone who's seen Ramesh in a different light for example in, in Misadventures of Ramesh he's quite deadpan he's really sarcastic you know he takes the piss out of his tour guides in front of them and that's the sort of person I know and that maybe it's my fault because I've not seen him on other tv shows or other programs um so maybe he he is like this but I just felt like he he said something then he backtracked two steps to just cover his back and even though the book was written quite informally and you know it wanted to give the sense that it's quite a free book and he's been quite honest I feel like it was heavily edited in that sense where he was quite reserved about a few things which I wouldn't really expect from Ramesh um, and especially you know the type of comedian he is he says things and you know he says his opinion so just in this book it felt like sometimes he was holding back um, and then the second con for me is Bloody hell, this man whinges a lot. Like, I know that's his whole shtick. That's his whole thing. He's a whinger. He's the typical British, like, oh, my life's shit, but I'm quite privileged, sort of. That's his comedy, really. But he just whinges so much. And for me, it was fine because I'm a fan, but I can see someone who's not really a fan or someone who's just discovering Ramesh reading this and just thinking, wow, this man is just such a ball ache and a drag. This man is just so draining. And I got that as a fan a little bit. So I can imagine a, a new person discovering him could, could also think that. So I think that was just one of the things I feel like, yeah, it's him. But, you know, I've taken the time out to read your book. Just, just whinge a little bit less. Um, but... I can't argue with the fact that it's him. So I chose to read it and, and that's just how I felt about it. Um, so yeah, other than those two sort of things, I thoroughly enjoyed the book. Um, I definitely liked it more than I disliked it. So definitely give it a go if you're if you're a fan of his or if you want to, you know, try something, try a new com comedian out. If you've not heard of Ramesh before, um, you can give this book a go he's he's a british comedian <laughs> I, I should have mentioned that before but yeah he he's um he's been in the comedy game for about 10 years or so and he was a teacher before that and yeah he he's got quite a quite a like relatable style um so i really enjoyed that but definitely i'd, I'd recommend this give it a go and that concludes my book review. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I really hope that I added something with this review. If I didn't, I do apologize. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.